everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 5th of july 2022 let's start the union cabinet approved the categorization of which institution as an international organization in july 2022 so the union cabinet has approved the categorization of cdri that is coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure as an international organization and the cabinet also approved signing of the headquarters agreement with cdri for the grant of exemptions and privileges under section 3 of united nations act 1947 okay let's see some of the important institutions that were in use these days which institution has released a report titled as harnessing the green hydrogen so the niti ayog released its report titled as harnessing the green hydrogen opportunities for deep decarbonization in india so it has basically recommended tax breaks like reduction or exemption of gst and custom duties on the green hydrogen production and also it has proposed setting up the green hydrogen corridors and offering the grants to startups which are working on the green hydrogen solutions okay financial stability report is the flagship publication of which particular institution so reserve bank of india recently released its financial stability report for the month of june 2022 and it is a half yearly publication so as per the recent report gross non performing asset ratio of the banks fell to 6 year low of 5.9% in march 2022 while the net non performing asset ratio fell to 1.7% in the month of march and capital to risk asset ratio is 16.7% and the common equity tier 1 ratio of the scheduled commercial banks are 13.6% in the month of march data is not very relevant important thing is this is the report of rbi which is the only institution in india to issue the electoral bonds so the government has approved the issuance of 21st phase of the sale of electoral bonds through authorized state bank of india branches from 1st of july So State Bank of India is the only authorized institution to issue and in cash the electoral bonds through its 29 authorized branches and the electoral bonds are interest free bearer instruments which can be in cashed by the party through a bank account within how many days within just 15 days fine which institution approved two loans of 500 million dollars each to support india's health sector this is world bank and world bank will support india's flagship prime minister aishman bharat health infrastructure mission and this loan will prioritize seven states basically and which are these seven states andhra pradesh kerala meghalaya odisha punjab tamil nadu and uttar pradesh okay which institution operationalized standards for the fortified rice kernels in india so it is related to food safety and standards authority of india payroll automation 
for disbursement of monthly allowances padma is an automated pay module of which institution so this is a kind of automated pay module of the indian coast guard okay next question which indian organization carried out the maiden flight test of autonomous flying wing technology demonstrator so defense research and the development organization carried out the maiden flight test of autonomous flying wing technology demonstrator in the state of karnataka and this test carried out from the aeronautical test range in chitradurg in the state of karnataka it is being seen as an important milestone towards developing unmanned aircraft technology in india okay let's see some of the important organizations pslv orbital experimental module is associated with which organization so the pslv orbital experimental module is a kind of platform which is used to perform the in orbit experiment using the final stage of isro's polar satellite launch vehicle so in the pslv rocket first three stages fall back into the ocean and the final stage that is ps4 ends up as the space junk after launching the satellite into the orbit okay so this poem has a navigation guidance and control system as well for altitude stabilization okay don't forget what is the full form of this poem which organization manufactures advanced light helicopter alh mk3 helicopters so it has been introduced by hindustan aeronautics limited which organization developed the nuclear capable prithvi 2 missile answer is drdo and the range of this type of missile is 250 km and it can carry a payload of weight 1 ton approximately fine don't forget that the agni missiles are inter immediate range ballistic missiles which organization adopted an india sponsored resolution on multilingualism that mentions the hindi bangla and the urdu language answer would be united nations and don't forget that hindi at the rate united nation project was launched in the year 2018 to enhance the public outreach of united nations in hindi language and this particular resolution encourages the united nation to provide important communication and messages in official and in non official languages including this hindi language okay which of the following organizations has partnered with the ministry of home affairs to offer the technical support for the capital goods industry this is nrbc that is national research development corporation and the financial outlay of this particular program is 1207 crore rupees and out of which 975 crore rupees would be borne by the government and rest 232 crore rupees would be contributed by the industries fine next question where is india's largest floating solar power project operationalized recently so india's largest floating solar power project is made fully operational at ramagundam in the state of telangana so ntpc declared commercial operation of the final part capacity out of 100 megawatt ramagundam floating solar pv project at telangana so with the operationalization of this project the total commercial operation of floating solar capacity in the southern region rose to 217 megawatt and earlier ntpc declared operation of the floating solar at kayamkulam in the state of kerala and at simhadri in the state of andhra pradesh right so correct answer would be telangana coming to the question slide which state topped the business reforms action plan 2020 rank in the ease of doing business so our finance minister nirmala sitaraman recently released the brap 2020 and andhra pradesh has topped the business reform action plan 2020 rankings in the ease of doing business so then it is followed by gujarat haryana karnataka 
Punjab, Telangana and Tamil Nadu. So the BRAP 2020 includes 301 reform points covering total 15 business regulatory areas such as access to information, single window system, labor, environment, land administration, etc. Okay. Which is the first state assembly to pass a resolution against the Agnipath recruitment scheme? So Agnipath is obviously very hot topic and Punjab has become the first state in the country to pass a resolution against the Agnipath recruitment scheme. And the resolution also said that more than 1 lakh soldiers from Punjab served in the armed forces of the nation and the house also recommended the state government to take up the matter with the union government in order to roll back the Agnipath scheme immediately. Okay. So the first state to do so is Punjab. Which of the following states or the union territories is the first smoke free state or the union territory of India? This is Himachal Pradesh. After Jharkhand and Andhra Pradesh, which state has entered uranium mining in India? So the third state to enter in uranium mining is Rajasthan. Which Indian state clinched their maiden Ranji Trophy title in 2022? So this time it has been won by Madhya Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh has defeated Mumbai to win the Ranji Trophy title. Okay. Next question. Who is the Attorney General of India as of 2022? So the Union government has extended the tenure of Attorney General KK Vanu Gopal by three months as per the notification issued by the Union Law Ministry. So he was initially appointed as the Attorney General on 1st of July 2017 as the 15th person to serve as Attorney General for India. And before him, Mukul Rohadgi was the Attorney General from June 2014 to June 2017. 17 okay coming to the question slide who has sworn in as the new chief minister of maharashtra after the resignation of uddhav thakre so shiv sena rebel leader eknath shinde sworn in as maharashtra chief minister while bjp leader devendra fadnavis sworn in as the deputy chief minister so maharashtra governor bhagat singh koshyari administered the oath of office and secrecy to the leaders and this was preceded by the resignation of the former chief minister Uddhav Thakre amidst an internal party rebellion. Okay. Manik Saha was sworn in as the new chief minister of which Indian state? So he is the new chief minister of Tripura state. After the resignation of Mahinda Rajapaksha who was sworn in as the new prime minister of Sri Lanka? This is Renil Vikrami Singh. Former World Bank economist Rodrigo Caves sworn in as the president of which country? So he is the new president of Costa Rica. Bhagwant Man sworn in as the chief minister of which Indian state? So he is the chief minister of Punjab. Ziumara Castro has been sworn in as the first female president of which country? So she is the first female president of the country. Honduras. Okay. Next question. Which country announced 75 fully funded scholarships for the Indian students in honor of India's 75th anniversary of independence? So the UK government has announced 75 fully funded scholarships for the Indian students to study in the UK and it is to begin from September 2022. Why? In honor of India's 75th anniversary of independence. So the scholarships are being offered in association with the top Indian companies and there are about 18 scholarships for women in STEM fields offered by the British Council in India. Fine. So this country is UK. Coming to the question slide, which of the following was appointed the chairperson of committee B at the 75th World Health Assembly? Answer is Mr. Rajesh Bhushan, which business will pay $75 million for the financial management platforms Wealth Desk and OpenQ? So, phone pay will 
pay this much amount for their financial management. Which organization created a Guinness World Record for the longest continuously late lane of 75 kilometers? This is National Highway Authority of India. And they have created this record on NH53 between Amravati and Akola in the state of Maharashtra. So this lane was late in just 105 hours and 33 minutes that is under 5 days and with this we have broken the record of Qatar okay who is the producer of the film all that breathes that won the 2022 loyal door for best documentary at the 75th Cannes Film Festival on 28th of May 2022 so this movie has been produced by Mr. Shonak Sen okay what is the theme of the 75th World Health Assembly 2022? So this year theme was Health for Peace and Peace for Health. Okay. And what was the venue of the 75th World Health Assembly? It was Geneva, Switzerland. Okay. Next question. Which is the most expensive city in India for foreign employees as per the Mercer's 2022 cost of living city? ranking so the mercer's 2022 cost of living city ranking was recently released with the list of the most expensive cities for the international employees and mumbai is the most expensive city in india for the foreign employees at rank 127 globally and it is followed by new delhi whose rank was 155 and pune and kolkata were the least expensive Indian cities in the ranking at 201 and 203 rank respectively. Okay. Let's see some of the important cities. Which is the only Indian city to achieve the gold standard category in the Asia Pacific Sustainability Index 2021? This is Bangalore. So four Indian cities were featured in this index which are these Bangalore, Delhi, Hyderabad and Mumbai and the rank of Bangalore was 14th okay which were the top five cities in this ranking first is Singapore then Sydney then third is Wellington fourth is Perth and fifth is Melbourne okay Sambhaji Nagar is the new name of which Indian city so Sambhaji Nagar is the new name of the city Aurangabad okay and don't forget that the new name of Osmanabad is Dhara Shiv. Fine. Which is the most liable city in the world as per the Economist Intelligence Unit Global Liability Index? This city is Vienna from Australia. Second was Copenhagen from Denmark. And third was Zurich from Switzerland. Okay. Which city is the venue of the National Health Authority NASCOM Conclave 2022? on Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission. The city is Bangalore. Which city is the host of the Summit of the Americas 2022? Answer would be Los Angeles. Okay. Next question. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Bosch India's first smart campus in which city? So Prime Minister Narendra Modi virtually inaugurated the Bosch India's first smart campus in the city of Bangalore that has been built at a cost of 800 crore rupees. So this campus will be used in developing futuristic products and the solutions for India and for the world. And this inauguration was done under 75th anniversary of India's independence. Okay. Now let's see some of the important things that have been recently inaugurated. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Center for the Brain Research in which state or the Union territory. So this center has been inaugurated in Karnataka recently. The Indian Prime Minister inaugurated the Granthi Gatha, a gallery of Indian revolutionaries in which state. So this gallery has been introduced in the state of Maharashtra. Which state inaugurated the country's first oncology laboratory for comprehensive cancer diagnostic services. So it has been inaugurated in the state of Kerala. The National Museum of Customs and GST was recently inaugurated in which state or the union territory. So this museum has been inaugurated in Goa. 
The National Tribal Research Institute was inaugurated in which state or the Union Territory? Answer would be New Delhi. Okay. Next question. Which is the host of the National Games conducted by Indian Olympic Association in 2022? So the Indian Olympic Association announced that the National Games will be held in multiple cities in Gujarat in September and October this year. Okay. And the last National Games were held in Kerala in 2015 and Goa was to host the 36th edition in November 2016. And after two delays in 2018 and 2019, as Goa was not able to create adequate infrastructure, the Games were further postponed till 2020. And then it was further postponed due to National Games. Okay. Coming to the question slide. Which state hosted the inaugural season Enterprise India National Coir Conclave 2022? So it has been hosted by Coimbatore. Which city would host the first semiconductor fabrication unit? So here answer would be Bangalore. Which country hosted the 10 day meeting of parties to the Antarctic Treaty? This is Germany. India hosted the industry transition dialogue with which country? So we have done this dialogue with Sweden. Which country is the host of the Globsec 2022 forum? Answer would be Slovakia. Okay. Next question. When is the International Day of Parliamentarism observed? So this day is observed every year on 30th of June to recognize the importance of parliamentary system of government in shaping our modern society. So this year theme was public engagement. Also the global parliamentary report on public engagement in the work of parliament was recently released. Okay. So don't forget that we observe this day on 30th of June. Coming to the question slide. When is the world asteroid day observed? So this day is marked and celebrated globally on 30th of June every year in order to raise public awareness about asteroids hazardous effect. Okay. When is the GST day celebrated in India? We observe GST day on 1st of July every year. Which of the following pairs of important days and the dates are matched correctly? So we have to identify whether the pair is right or not. Okay. First is civil services day. It is observed on 21st of April. Yes, this is absolutely correct. Next is National Panchayati Raj Day. It is observed on 24th of April. Yes, this is also right. National Integration Day on 29th of November. No, actually National Integration Day is celebrated on the birth anniversary of India's very first female Prime Minister that is Indra Gandhi and uh, her birth anniversary is on 19th of November and not 29th of November. Okay, so this one is wrong. And next is National Statistics Day on 19th of June. No, National Statistics Day is celebrated on 29th of June every year to celebrate the birth anniversary of PC Mahalanobis, right? So correct answer would be only one and two, three and four are wrong, okay? Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minus Hatsana signing off.